Hello, welcome to the Mark Chinatro, the Cybersecurity Show. In this video, I'm going to go over 10 bizarre cybersecurity tools that are available online. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark. Number one, R RTL SDR, which is a device that can turn on your smart smartphone, tablet, or computer into a radio scanner and ham radio receiver, capable of picking up almost any RF signal, intercepting radio frequencies, listening in on chats, and blocking SMS and GSM mobile calls for cybersecurity purposes. Number two, the Prox Mark III NFC RFID card reader, uh, which is a powerful hacking tool that can scan and replicate RFID and NFC card data, potentially raising concerns about privacy and security. Number three, the USB rubber ducky. Now, the USB uh, rubber ducky is a hacking tool that disguises itself as a USB flash drive, but can inject keystroke commands into a computer, making it a potential threat for keyboard injection, you know, hacks. Number four, the Hack RF1. The Hack RF1 is a versatile tool that can be used to compromise systems with physical access, making it a potential threat to cybersecurity. Number five, the Uber Tooth One, which is uh, a wireless development platform that can monitor and track 2.4 gigahertz signals while the Wi-Fi Dorther watch de-authenticates and disconnects Wi-Fi users, making it a useful hacking tool. Next, we have the Raspberry Pi, which is a versatile device uh, used by security professionals and hackers, as demonstrated in Mr. Robot with countless applications in programming and information security. Next, we have the Adafruit Blue Fruit LE Sniffer, which is a Bluetooth low energy sniffer that can passively record data exchanges between devices and push the data into Wireshark, while the Raspberry Pi 4 is a popular single board computer used by security personnel for installing the Kali Linux operating system. Next, we have a deauthenticator, right? A deauthentication attack disconnects specific devices from Wi Fi. Uh, without affecting other frequency while the usb killer overcharges computer hardware and bad usb reprograms uh, usb devices to launch malicious software what device uh, would you say applies more accurately to your to your life what what device would you purchase and for what reasons hopefully not you know <laughs> negative reasons but ethically what what cybersecurity project would you do and what device would you purchase as a result of that? Um, I'm not sure what I would do. I probably I probably would use the uh, Wi-Fi uh, deauthenticator uh, for fun. Uh, for you know, uh, I want to say you know, obviously legal reasons, but I would just use it for fun. See how I can uh, you know stop somebody's wi-fi or something like that um i don't know but please let me know in the comment section below please hit the subscribe button please hit the notification bell i appreciate your viewership and see you on the next video